Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 2 on the Commodore 64, released in 1989 by Activism. I very recently did a gameplay on the ZX Spectrum. It was balls horrifically hard and quite frankly a little bit poor. As you know, this is that's epic SID chip music as you would expect. Obviously it's based on the movie of the same name released in 1989. Loads of people complain about it. I said this in the last video. Loads of people complain about it. You know, years later we kind of take it for what it is. It's not a bad movie. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that, you know, mood reactive slime. Gives me a khaki throat. Listen to that. Yeah, it's, you know, it's kind of kid of fights. The swearing's removed, the smoking's removed. Uh, a lot of the really sort of, you know, strong humor's removed. And, well, yeah, basically, <clears throat> it's a remake of the first movie. But, how do you remake Perfection? Or how do you follow up Perfection, I should say? You can. Watch it now. Watch it with an open mind. It's a very good movie. Now, I sincerely doubt I'll get past the first stage on this because, once again, we're going into the sewers to get a sample of the uh, mood re reacting slime. Uh, which obviously Vigo's flooding underneath the city so basically he can bring himself back to life. Boom. Right, so five years later. Uh, Oscar Danith Bailey narrowly escapes injury as his buggy is dragged by unseen hands into traffic of a busy New York street. There's something strange in your neighborhood, who are you going to call? Sometimes shit happens, someone's got to deal with it, and who are you going to call? Spengler and Stans investigate the site, the Gigameter, the Gigameter? Isn't that like power? I don't know. Right, so there we go. You would expect it to be better graphics than the, um, the Spectrum version. So, okay, you're boring me now, game. Right, I've skipped all the loading times, just for you, because they're awful. So, right, uh, left, right, swing. Graphically, it, obviously it's got colour. It's smoother than the, uh, the Spectrum version, but the sprites aren't as big. But hey, that's just a standard thing. It's got the same effect, which is to turn around, you've got to uh, rotate while firing. Which is a bit irritating because then you use up all your uh, proton stream, despite the fact that in the movie they have um, a half life of 25,000 years. Maybe they're like Nokia's or something. If you don't charge them every couple of months, they go flat. Now, got weapons, because uh, I'm out of proton packs. Those things will try and grab me, and uh, you use that. Star Trek to get them off. We made it to the bottom already. I'm better than the Spectrum version. Right, have I got the slime? I've got the slime. I think I've got the slime. Oh, I don't know. There's a pink thing bottom right. Now, that was far easier than the Spectrum version. Uh, I mean, so, oh, he says that, and then I just got cut off. There you go, that's the bottom of the subway, River of Slime. You're a worthless slime ball. Um, you have two more chances, press file to try. You don't have to call me a worthless slime ball. Kids are playing this, man. If it was actually 1989. Do you remember the deal with Burger King at the time when they did the Ghostbusters 2 meal and you got slime in a can? It wasn't slime in a can, though. It was just like a neon green Mountain Dew esque drink. Because I was really disappointed with it. I saw Ghostbusters 2 in a cinema. That's why I roll. I own it on Blu-ray, two, that's how I roll. I've got a Lego Ecto-1. Are we spotting a theme here? That's how I roll. I'll shut up now. See, I'm out of stream already. Which is, well, quite frankly, irritating as shit. Right, those little things there are supposed to be the hands, aren't they? They're in the Spectrum one, actually look like hands. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, despite the... How do I? No. There we go. Yeah, despite um, the fact that obviously the colour is better on this one, the Spectrum one's better graphics. Yeah, I said it. Deal with it. Right. I don't know. 
That would be a pointless on the way back up, that, like, sort of, you know, throw up a bar or something. Am I out of everything now? I'm racing this little bastard to the top. No! There we go! Come on! Come on! Easy! 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 Look at this! Oh! Balls! This is far easier than the Spectrum version, I'll say that. Again, I'm not stirring up Commodore Wars and shit like this. This is far easier than the Spectrum version. That's better graphics, though. Not as good colour. And yes, I'm playing this on an HD TV, so I'm pretty sure the colour in this is inaccurate. Hey, I don't know, it still looks like a Commodore 64 to me. Maybe I'll get myself a Commodore 64 Mini one day. Actually, no, I know I wouldn't, because you can only put one car, uh, um, ROM on the SD card at one time, can't you? Which, to me, it's the stupidest thing in the world ever. Unless that was some sort of deal they had to do to say, look, we're not, you know, we're not promoting downloading ROMs. Because I know it's a Commodore 64, but some people get what? Bollocks! But hurt about it, don't they? How do I? I don't even know if I can stay there in the middle. Yeah, I don't even know if I've got the slime. I'm just seeing some pink thing. Go back in hand. Stay dead in the middle. Go this way. Woo! Paul Daniels. That was what went. Woo! Not that that green hand thing is Paul Daniels. Right. Oh! No! I'm out of everything! I'm out of everything! That's not fair! You've got such a limited supply of weapons! Granted, we've got weapons on this level we didn't have in the movie. Uh, you didn't scoop up enough slime to analyse um, Vigo or Rule Supreme. Why well, just pull my fucking body back up and wring out the suit? There's bound to be enough slime then. Right. It's not... It doesn't wind you up and it's frustrate you as much as the Spectrum version, but obviously this isn't a hack ROM, so I can't progress. But we're going to have another go anyway. Maybe sucking a little bit more of the music. I mean, if you had this back in the day, or this version, I should say, on the Commodore 64, let me know what you think of it. And where I'm going wrong. Well, we know where I'm going wrong. I'm crappy games. Right, skip. New game plan. Right. No. There we go. I wish I could see where it says, like, you know, I think I've used all those up too quickly now. You know, like, I don't know, where, where my strength is on my rope, like it did on the uh, the Spectrum version. Swinging. Look, I'm swinging. I didn't even leave my keys in an ashtray. See what I did there? Yeah, sorry. I'll get my coat. Right. Getting down to the River of Slime is a piece of... Piss, piss, uh. I think, I don't know. Have I, center up, center up. Have I got anything? Ooh, you missed me. I think that's the only problem is when you, bollocks, you press left or right, it's, oh, it swings like friggin' Indiana Jones. Going down. Again, you know, if this was everything that was down this manhill cover, I'd call it the National Guard. Just saying. And for the record, I uh, I have seen the 2016 Ghostbusters. I don't think they should have made it, but I did watch it out of curiosity, and I can confirm it's a horrible bucket full of lukewarm piss. Ah. <sighs> In fact, I'd rather play this game again and again and again for the entire duration of that movie than I would watch that movie. Again. Right, like, see? He was holding on. Right, so there is... There is, you know, numbers and stuff at the bottom of the screen. I just don't know what they're doing. Ah, you Scheisenberger. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Is he on my rope? See, how come sometimes they grab your rope? Did I just collect something then? Yeah, 
Sometimes they don't. They're different things. Ah! I don't know. I'm very confused. Shizen. Right, well there you go. Ghostbusters 2 on the Commodore 64. Do you know what? It's easier and I would say more playable than a Spectrum, but it's still balls hard, frustrating and doesn't look quite as good. Colour aside. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later.